Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Final Fantasy 13. I'm your host Dark Mazda for Dark Mazda Series Gaming and if you haven't done so already please like and subscribe it helps the channel greatly. We're going to continue our journey um, at Grand Pulse in this episode um, after we have disembarked from Atomos the Falsi in Grand Pulse. So here we go. If they choose not to kill Orphan and bring about Cocoon's destruction, Lightning and her companions will transform into Seath. But if they do carry out their focus, their actions will doom the lives of millions of people. In search of a way to escape this impossible choice, the Lassie travel towards the village of Erba in the north of Grand Pulse. On the endless plains they see beasts and birds are plenty, but not a single person. Could the ruin of this world's civilization have been caused by the War of Transgression centuries before? Here, where it all began, Fang finally uncovers the truth that Fenil has so desperately tried to conceal. The Lassie who became Ragnarok and attacked Cocoon during the war was not her cheerful friend, but Fang herself. Not wanting Fang to bear the guilt of the beast's bloody rampage, Fenil chose to take the blame in her stead. As if to reprimand her for twisting the truth, the idolan Hecatonchia rises from the earth even as the two friends argue. No matter how painful it may be, Lassie cannot run from reality forever. Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIII. We are on Grampals at the moment. I am Dark Master for Dark Master Series Gaming. And we left off um, disembarking from this great beast here. This is Atomos. And yeah, it is bigger than it seems. So he dropped us off here, we saved it, and then we ended the episode. So we're going to continue through this path here as we head onwards to Erba. So it does look as though there's a chest over there couple of chests actually. We're going to make our way over there. Cocoon. What you doing? I was, uh, I was talking to Sarah. She's telling her that we're all going to be okay. It's so pretty. Sarah, you'd been crying, hadn't you? Back when we first met? This place was beautiful, and my focus was to destroy it. I decided to do nothing, and wait to become a thief. But because I did nothing, others got dragged into this nightmare, and I was the one to blame. <sighs> How's the scrape? Well, fine. Much better, thanks to you. Oh, sure you don't mind. I mean, I'm not keeping you from anything, am I? Not at all. Don't worry. I could sit here for hours. Hey, Sarah. Do you think we'll meet again? We might. Sure. See, the thing is, I was chasing after someone. And there's something I really need to apologize for. But I just, I just can't ever find the words. Gee, that's gotta be tough, huh? Yes. I even have 
nightmares about it. Well, if it's too much to deal with, face it later. Really? <laughs> Sometimes things seem easier when you look at them from a distance, you know? But does that really work? Good question. I'll let you know. Actually, I've been trying to keep something at a distance myself lately. Like what? Don't laugh, okay? It's a dream I had. A bad one. I dreamt I destroyed the world. It was terrifying. I needed some time alone. It had me so scared, I tried to run away. But then, my boyfriend, he came chasing after me. That's when I understood. Running away and leaving behind the people you care about? That isn't love. Though you might just want to keep them safe, shutting them out of your life only hurts them more. The point is, I have people I can count on. I'll make it through. I think you'll be fine. And you will be too. You'll find the words. I'm sure of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What else can I say? I'm not the one you should be asking, Vanille. You'll know what to say when you find your friend. You'll see. Sarah? Mm -hmm. I tried to hide our focus, and she ended up on the sea. I wanted to say I was sorry, but... Well, when we rescue her, maybe you'll get the chance. Yeah, I hope so. Come on. I think Sarah saw the same vision of Ragnarok that we did. Which means, Dysley had to be lying when he explained her focus. I think she beat it. She handed Cocoon over to us, and that's what made her turn to Crystal. Yep. I know. So the story thickens, the plot thickens, is our first chest of the episode. What have we got? Strange fluid, 13 vials of it. We are going to have to uh, upgrade our weapons and accessories at some point. So let's go on and where's the, where's the next chest at? The next chest's over there. Our next chest is Agnaptic Fluid. Right. I'm going to consult the map a second. So we have to head this way, down over. So if we head in the opposite direction, we may find a chest. Go and get that first. Will it let us? We can get it. Aquabane brooch. open this chest moistened scales but to get the last one we do actually have to fight something um, is 
see if we can get through these guys. Might even use Orden if possible. And buff ourselves up. There's one down. Well, it looks like we've got the upper hand in this fight. Yeah, so we can get this chest then. Sea petal scales. Okay, so we've got all the chests over here. avoid all these because we know we can't deal with them that's no problem we're good at evading the enemy Seat stone here, but we can't activate that yet. And we're just going to run past this these guys here. Hopefully, there's some easier monsters to deal with um, later on in another area, which we can handle and maybe grind to level up a little bit more. But at the moment, it's uh, seeming difficult 
to tackle some of these monsters. More abyssal scales. Sarah. Same as we left her. Feels so far away now. <laughs> Sarah says she wants to talk. She'd probably prefer it if you skip the lectures. Hey! Once we're home, what's your plan? You're getting married, right? What's that? Sarah wants to know. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. You are getting married, aren't you? Don't you let her down, you hear me? <laughs> Don't worry. This tear will be her last. I'll make sure of that. That's all I need to know. We'll see her, right? Don't go there. No room for doubt. You're right. We'll see her again. And soon. You convinced me of that. So stay strong. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll finish this and go see her together. Alright, we're going to save it now. And quick look at the Crystarium. Got a few points. I don't know exactly how beneficial they're going to be, but here we have it. Not very. Right. Right, where are we heading now then? Further down. Another chest. We like chests. A seat here. We looks like we're going into a different sub area.
get through there, and we'll be in Ava. You're almost home. Yep. Doesn't exactly look like it's gonna be a leisurely stroll. So we just head through this foul sea's lair to get to Erebo, right? What's another foul sea at this point, huh? I don't like the looks of that. So he's under the sea stone. It's going to let us uh, interact with it. Certain seized stones function as teleporters or way stones once you have completed their missions. Using these stones, you can travel instantly to other way stones that you have activated previously. Okay, so Goblin Chieftain, Tasian's Tower, the Palisades. When Father told me he was leaving us, I struck him full in the face. I can still remember the look in his eye to this day, just as I'll never forget the way he picked himself up and left without a word. I found out later that he had turned to crystal. It pains me now to think of how I never made any attempt to understand how he suffered under the burden of his focus. That is why I must triumph over the goblin chieftain near Tasian's tower, so that some day I can tell him that I am sorry. We're going to take on this mission. Our other mission will be abandoned. But if we can do this mission, we can teleport between the two seed stones, right? So that'll be handy. So we've got a silver back over here. And we'll see if we can actually kill this one. Where's he at? So that's good. It means we can fight the rest and gain some nice XP. Or at least a little bit. There's another one dealt with. What's next? Wow. Look at that. That's another one down. So the enemies here seem to be a little bit more to our skill level. So this is the Seath Stone mission here. Hopefully we, well, we can't get that without uh, alerting those guys. Um, we're going to have a try and get these guys. But don't think it's going to be as easy as we think, you know. Time for another approach. You're mine. <sighs> Thanks.
You'll make it. Thanks. managed to do that one who completed a seed stone mission uh, rod on cross site that's um, a transformation material and what do we get from this chest here sinister fangs That is good to know. made it through Tajin's tower Presence here draws the tyrant's gaze. Leave this place at once. We can't leave. This is the only way for us to get through. Please, help us. As you wish. Look for us, and the way will open. never know. Could be a trap. Could be. Don't see no stairs, though. Do you? Nope. This is our ride. Bumpy or not. So 
So hold on just a we'll moment. We'll get by somehow. Some way. There was a chest over here somewhere. There we go. I see it. Twelve chipped fangs. Take us to the second floor. Continue ascending Tajan's tower, you must accept and complete missions from the three colossal Menhirim on the tower's second tier. The route to the tower's apex will remain closed until all of the Menhirim's tasks are done. Oh, he do. So we're going to. Let's go take a peek. See what this guy wants us to do. Jella Titan, Tajan's Tower, second tier. Brave soul, heed my plea, and we shall bring light to your dark path. Know that a Jella Titan holds my power thrall within the spire. Slay it, and I shall once more be free. If you can but restore the strength of my two brethren and I. Here on the second tier, the way will be opened unto me. We'll take on this mission. We'll figure out where he's at. I'm going to continue up these stairs here. giant gelatin so hopefully we can um, take this guy down without much hassle Huh. <laughs> 
approach. to say I did that one. We'll finish one of the missions and we've got a speed sash. Yeah, so while we're here we might as well pick up this guy's mission. Ambling Bellows, Tasian's Tower, Second Tier, Puissant Soul, heed my plea, and we shall bring light to your dark path. Know that an Ambling Bellows holds my power thrall within this spire. Slay it, and I shall once more be free. If you can but restore the strength of my two brethren and I, here on the Second Tier, the way will be opened unto you. Okay guys, so we're going to leave it there for this episode of Final Fantasy XIII. We have to um, take on the tasks of the three guardians on the second tier in order to make it up to the third tier to advance in uh, Tarjin's Tower. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, if you've liked the content so far, please like and subscribe. And if you want to talk about the episode or anything in particular about this series so far, please do so in the comments section below. And until next time, that's goodbye from me, and I will see you guys on the flip side.